Hi, I'm Jim with uh, InStuffMusic.com, and we're here today to talk about the new Slash head from Marshall. Now, this head is uh, obviously Slash's signature edition uh, Marshall head. It's 100 watts, and it has a lot of really unique and interesting features, um, some of which are totally new to the Marshall line. So we're going to come in here, and we're going to take a look at the controls, and I'm going to explain what everything on the amplifier does. Okay, so let's take a look at the control panel on the amp. You have two inputs here. Uh, one's high sensitivity, one's low sensitivity. The high sensitivity is going to give you about 6 dB more in um, volume. And this is kind of reminiscent of older Marshall amplifiers. You'd see that a lot. Now you have this switch right here. Okay, You have the number 34 and AFD. The AFD is the appetite for destruction sound. And it's based on the amp that Slash used on that record. And it's, uh, what that amp was is it was a, uh, a 1959 uh, Marshall uh, tremolo. They think that's what it was anyway. I, I don't think anyone's really sure. And then the number 34 is Slash's modified JCM-800, is 2203 JCM-800. And he kind of uses the number 34 in a lot of his more modern stuff. Like if you listen to his new record, he has that sound going on a lot. It's got a lot more pronounced mid-range. Um, it's not quite as, uh, as dark as the uh, appetite sound, um, it cuts a lot more. Gain control, master volume, those are self-explanatory. Here are your EQ controls, bass, middle, treble. These are very interesting because unlike with some amplifiers, they kind of interact with one another, so how you set one will in turn affect the other two. So you can get a huge amount of tonal variety out of this amp, it just doesn't kind of do one sound. You've got your presence control and then a power attenuator knob here. Now what this allows you to do is this is a 100 watt amp so it can get really, really, really loud. Um, when you have it all the way up you're going to get your 100 watts but you can kind of crank it back and lower the wattage of the amp down to literally like 1% of the power. So you know if you're doing a smaller gig and you don't want to blow everybody's head off you can just bring it back but it doesn't affect the tone. The tone still stays very rich and, uh, and very true whether you have it all the way up or you know at a lower wattage. Effects loop switch right there, that takes the effects loop uh, in and out uh, of your signal path. Uh, it's wired in series. Standby, your power switch. Slash is cool little logo there. Um, we got five preamp valves in this, uh, this amp. Uh, ECC83s, and we have four power tubes. They're 6550s. So um, you got a lot, lot, lot of power to play with uh, on this thing. And it comes with a foot switch. So Let's now try to get some tones out of the amp, see what it can do. Okay, so I'm playing a Les Paul standard uh, 08, your classic 1960A Marshall cab. What I have it on now is when you got the light on, you're on the appetite for destruction mode. So let's take a listen to the two voicings. I'm going to just play a little bit. Uh, you can kind of get the difference in the tone. I'm going to set the gain at about 50%, master at about 12 o'clock. You can see. Uh, Got the bass at about 3 o'clock, the middle a little past noon, treble at about 11. Got the power attenuator at about noon, and the presence at about noon. So we don't have this amp full blast, 100 watts, but um, it's going to sound really good. That's our appetite for destruction sound, which is when the light's lit. Okay, now let's go on to the number 34. 
Didn't change any of the EQ settings. Have the thing set exactly the same. lot more pronounced mid-range is a lot more attack bring the gain up a little bit and you can hear what that sounds like <laughs> So that kind of sound is what he uses a lot on uh, a lot of his more recent recordings, especially his solo album. You know, you can kind of get that tone. Some of those riffs I was playing were uh, very similar to some of the riffs on that record. Now, you can clean this amp up and get a really nice clean sound from it. I'm going to roll the gain back, bring your master up a little bit, power up a little bit. The amp cleans up pretty well. It's not a true, true clean sound. I mean, you're certainly not going to get it to sound like a, you know, a Fender, but you get a nice, really warm, uh, clean rock sound. Now, if I turn the gain up. Let's see how it responds to when I roll back on the volume. Roll that volume back. harmonics there you can get it pretty clean okay now next what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the effects loop a little bit okay so I put uh, a delay pedal in the effects loop so you can just hear how that sounds it's a uh, Wampler analog echo now, the uh, effects loop has a return level on it, so um, ideal position for that is about 2 o'clock. So, uh, you know, if you have it turned up, you're going to get a little bit of a dB increase. So here's the... It doesn't really affect the tone at all. So there you have it. That's uh, the slash head from Marshall.